Hey, welcome back to Frank's Favorite Foods where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. With the temperatures here in South Florida reaching a chilly 81 degrees, I figured I'd better make some potato bacon leek chowder. If you'll make sure to hit that subscribe button, I'll make sure you never miss an upcoming episode. Go ahead and get started by laying out about a half a pound of your favorite bacon. 15 minutes at around 375 degrees should do the trick. Make sure to save the grease. A contraption like this can be found in just about any kitchen goods store. It separates the bacon grease from the little bits of bacon. Next, cut the potatoes into approximately one inch squares. The next step is to mince the celery. You want the celery to provide texture and flavor for the soup, but you don't really want big chunks of celery floating around. After cutting the celery into long, thin strips, go ahead and mince it. Prepare the onion the same way you did the celery, although it doesn't need to be quite so finely chopped, or minced for that matter. The final ingredient from the garden is a fresh leek. A leek is sort of like a sweet scallion. Just as you did with the other ingredients, cut the leek lengthwise, then crosswise, and you'll have just the right size mince. Next, go ahead and chop up the bacon any way you like. I kind of like to mince it up just like the rest of the stuff so it goes all the way throughout the soup. Next, we're gonna add some bacon fat and some butter cook all our veggies in. We're using minced celery, minced onion, and some minced leek. Cook all the veggies together until they're tender. Next go ahead and add the flour. Make sure to let the flour cook for at least two minutes before you start adding any liquid. Next, go ahead and add equal parts chicken stock and milk until you've got the consistency right where you want it. Now that I have the soup to just about the right texture, I'm going to add a little fresh ground pepper. Next, I'm going to add my pre-cooked potatoes to the soup. This will definitely cause the soup to thicken up a bit, so you may need to add a little more liquid. When you've got the soup to just the right thickness, go ahead and add the bacon bits that you prepared earlier. Finally, I'm going to add a little heavy cream for richness, and that's the soup. Garnish with some of the leftover bacon and some parsley, and that's it. You may have noticed that it's been quite a few weeks since my last post. Unfortunately, at the beginning of November, I suffered a stroke. Fortunately, I'm expected to make a full recovery. As if that weren't enough, two days prior, I found out that I lost one of my very best friends. My friend, Kevin Barnes, may just have been the coolest guy on the planet, and I'll miss him forever.